First, I'll create a, an object and call it connection. I will assign whatever is returned by function MySQL connect. This function returns a MySQL object. This function takes your host name, which can be localhost or simply the IP address of your MySQL server. It also takes username and password. This example assumes that you do have MySQL database running with these credentials. At this point, you want to check if the connection has completed successfully. MySQL stores lists of tables within catalog namespaces, also known as schemas. Once the connection is successfully established, the first thing you want to do is to connect to that schema. This is accomplished by using a function called MySQL underscore select underscore DB. and you provide the catalog name. Of course, yours would be different, and it's usually defined when MySQL database is created. At this point, it's a good idea to check if the catalog name has actually been selected. We'll do that by using an if statement. And in case something went wrong, we can print out a small note saying in addition you might want to close the connection here using the function mysql close and you provide the connection object from earlier As I mentioned earlier, this MySQL extension is deprecated as of version PHP 5.5. But if you're a beginner, this is a good place to start learning how to connect to MySQL database. If we have successfully ended up between these brackets, we're ready to start writing some MySQL queries. Again, this is a very basic example and it assumes that you have some MySQL tables already created. We can use a function called MySQL underscore query to insert a new entry into a table. First you have to call the function and you open a double quote and here we will type an actual MySQL query. This is not PHP. At this point, this is a string query that we will send to MySQL for processing. The first example is about inserting an item into an existing table. So we're going to use a command insert. Then we have to type into and specify the table name. For example, let's say we have a table called cats, insert into cats, and then we open the parentheses and we specify a table's column. So for example, cats uh, color, then we can close it. By the way, we can specify specify multiple values here uh, for example cat's age um, name and so on so let's uh, use two of them for now and then we have to type the keyword values and in the same way we can specify the color for example 
black it's a black cat age three years old probably put quotes around it now we can close parenthesis and we can close the query and close the function let's try another example where we will delete all of the black cat from our table in the same way mysql query this time we will use a command called delete from and we'll also say cats we're deleting an entry from a table cat and this command also takes the where statement so which cats do we want to delete we can say color where color equals black so this will delete all of the black cats from our table and we're gonna close the function and we have just successfully deleted all of the black cats of course there are many more MySQL queries that we can run on a initialized MySQL connection but in this tutorial I'm going to stop right here in my next tutorials I will show you how to connect to MySQL using MySQL I extension and PDO extension and like I said earlier MySQL extension is deprecated it's probably not a good idea to continue using it but it's still good for practice if you're just starting learning this thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next tutorial